So let's say your teacher asks you on a test, what is log base two of three? So if you see my video on logs, you know what this means. You write equals x, then you write that this means two to the power x equals three. The problem is you have to ask two to what power equals three, and of course the answer is, I don't know. It's not gonna be a nice number. It's gonna be some terrible decimal. So you can't do it in your head. Okay, so you say, fine, I'll do it to my calculator. But the problem is your calculator doesn't have a log base two button, so you can't type that in your calculator either. So the way you have to do it then is using what's called the change of base formula. And all the change of base formula is, is it lets you take a log with a base that you don't want and write it in terms of a new base that you do want. So what it is, you take the old log and you write it as two logs, a log on top and bottom. On the top, you put in what was on the inside of the log before. So in this case, that's three. On the bottom, you put in the old base, right? So our old base was two, so you put that in there. Now you may have noticed that I didn't write any bases for the new logs. And the point is, you can make it whatever base you want. You literally could put any new positive number there and it would give you the same answer. So for example, if I wanted to, I could write log base five for the bases. Of course, that doesn't really help me anymore because my calculator doesn't have a log base 5 button, so normally you wouldn't do that. Instead, what you'd put is something like 10, right, since your calculator has a log base 10 button. And then that you can do, right? You can type into your calculator a log base 10 of 3, and when you do that, you get the top is roughly 0 0.477, and you can type in log base 10 of 2, and that gives you about 0 0.301. Go ahead and divide those two and you get roughly 1.58. So there we go. We figured out what log base two of three is, even though our calculator does not have a log base two button. So that example should show you how you can do all of the change of base ones, but I'll go ahead and write the general formula below. So what the general formula says is suppose you have log base B of A for some base B that you don't want. So you can rewrite this as two logs, just like before. On the top, you put what was inside the old log, so an A. On the bottom, you put the old base, which is a B. And then remember, we can make these any new base we want, so we call that C for any new C that we want. And there you go. That is the change of base formula. All right, I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave those in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get to them. Thanks, everyone.